Hello again guys. Well this time it's not something vintage, but uh, it's something fun nonetheless. This is a uh, co-workers and uh, it's been sitting for about a year and the gas in it's gone bad. You can tell just by the stench of it. So uh, <clears throat> we got to get this cover off and access the carburetor and drain the nastiness out of the gas tank. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so we got the panel off. And I already undid the gas gas line there, and here's our delicious looking gas. Man, if they invented smell o vision I'm sure a couple of you would kind of gag right now. But uh, down in the bottom there's water. And uh, it looks like a bunch of just crap, really. So uh, I'll drain the rest of the gas out and uh, probably wash it out with some carburetor cleaner and... Uh, We'll get that carburetor off and see what the damage is on the bowl in here. Alright, we got the float bowl off and uh, definitely got some varnish in there and uh, some yellowing. That's the ethanol. I popped the main jet out and uh, there's a whopping two jets that are open. So uh, we'll uh, spray some carburetor clean there in there and uh, wire brush. Use the bristles and poke holes in the jets there. Make sure it's all cleaned out. Clean the uh, carburetor out. Make sure the seat still works after the ethanol. And uh, take the other jets out. And then uh, probably dismantle that gas tank off of there and uh, clean, clean and blow that thing out so none of these nastiness gets back in the carburetor. So uh, let's clean her up. So here's the secondary jet. And you can see the crystals on there clogging it up so we'll clean this one really well as, along with the main jet and then be sure to just blast carburetor cleaner down both of those to make sure we get all the crap out of there so here's the uh, petcock out of the fuel tank and you can see all that gunk all over it there if the phone would focus there it goes. Yeah, look at that. So I got to pop off that cover and make sure there's nothing clogging it in there as well. And then uh, that's what came out the rest of the tank. Delicious, right? So uh, we'll clean all this up and put it back together and see if she'll start. All right, let's see if she'll start. She started, but uh, looks like we got to work on the idle a little bit, so we'll get back with you here in a sec. All right, we're back in action once again. I'll uh, check the oil on it, probably top it off because I'm sure it needs some. But uh, here's the gas we took out of it. Here it is. This is clean gas that I ran through it, and it looks like a couple more bits of gunk came out, but I'll filter that and put it back in my tank. But uh, if you have to store it, drain the carburetor. Shut the gas off and drain it. There's a little drain right on the carburetor. So take note of that. And then you don't have to deal with all this nastiness. So uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. 